world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff we love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Although today we are not looking at a knife, we are looking at this. Okay, we are going on holiday um, in not too long. Okay, like, no, actually I'm lying, it's only after Christmas. Okay, so I already started working on my holiday EDC kit. Now, I do not normally wear hats, but on weekends and outside I do because I don't have a lot of hair and my head burns to a crisp very quickly. It's not because I'm bald, I shave my head most of the time. Anyway, so um, I like these straw hat types of things, okay, and I do not like stiff hats that much because when I get in and out of the bucky, I bump it against everything and when you throw it somewhere and people stand on it or sit on it to kids i have kids not other people kids anyway so it's easier if it's a bit more flexible and floppy okay now this thing doesn't really flop but it is soft enough it kind of hangs like that anyway so this is kind of a i don't know pseudo panama style ad okay um if i get any of the terminology wrong it's because i am not a super hat connoisseur but i have <clears throat> excuse me but i have had a few in the past okay so the brim the crown uh the ribbon i'm gonna go with ribbon uh the what is this this one goes all the way through it doesn't look like a diamond it's not a whatever so this is a center dip i think they call it in a pinch okay and then on the inside this one does not have a liner we have a sweat band uh Tip, I think they call it something like that. Anyway, mine was a cheapie. I got it from Mr. Price Sport and it is made in China. Okay, they give you hand wash instructions at the bottom, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but I've never washed the hat in my life. Okay, so anyway, um, this thing was less than 200 Rand and it makes me extremely happy. So, there we go. Quick little video for hat day. And it's Friday and I'm going to bry now and stand in the sun. Not because I have to, but because I want to. Um, also, these straw hat types of things, they're quite good because they breathe a lot. Remember, here in South Africa, we don't wear hats to keep rain off our heads. We wear hats because we keep sun out of our faces. Okay, so these things seem to breathe better. I like these open ones. But I used to do those rigid cowboy style hats, but... Yeah, they have pieces of wire in them and stuff like that. This one does not. Um, and then they bend out of shape and they have wire in the side of this to keep it like that, whatever. But it's, yeah, it, they go bad very quickly. So hopefully this one lasts a little bit longer. I'm not sure if you're going to find anything interesting in this video, but how about I'll bry? I'm going to bry now. Yes, let's do that. Okay, just started our fire and it's as smoky as a night walker's voice. Um, but in a little bit it will calm down, the coals will start getting ready and we will be making our flatty. Which is a chicken that's been spatchcocked the wrong way. But that's what we do here in South Africa. Okay, so I just put the grill on the fire, that's where you can see all the fat and juices cooking off we'll scrub it later but the fire is cooking pro tip for a delicious flatty on the fire at least 10 minutes in the microwave in the bag before you actually fry it because nobody likes a bloody chicken bone on the inside okay another pro tip not at once like three 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 whatever minutes you need but if you do 10 minutes at once your bag's gonna pop Okay, and I have my flatty on the fire. Yes, it has been in the microwave for at least, I think, 15 minutes. Um, and the fire is still very hot. Now, I'm going to add two things to this. I'm going to add some, what's that, Southern Grind Grill Spice. So, normal barbecue spice. And some crushed garlic spice. Okay, I will show you when I'm done. Okay, I chopped this thing into three pieces, well, four pieces, and this is the last few seconds. I used my awesome Miguel Hetzel Couple of Oro, and yes, this is looking 
delicious. So I'm pretty much done now. All of you, I don't know, what's the end of the video? Okay, if you have made it till the end of this video, you are fantastic. Give yourself a thumbs up. Uh, tell your friends to subscribe. Blah, blah. All of you stay safe, happy. Have a good one. Goodbye.